Hey what's up YouTube, it's me again Matt or TechOnSite of TheBitPC.com I'll show you a quick video on how to use an old router as a repeater bridge using DDWRT firmware. So let's get right into it. So first, you can download the DDWRT firmware in the DDWRT website. It's www.ddwrt.com All you have to do is put in the the model name or the model number of your router on the router database uh, search box and from there you can download the the DDWRT firmware and you can flash your router to this firmware so uh, but you have to ensure or double check uh, double check that um, if your router is compatible with uh, the firmware so the question is why should we use um, uh, this firmware over the default firmware that is loaded on the router. The simple answer is with this firmware you know, it will give an extra uh, feature um, one for example is a you can use an old router as a repeater bridge uh, through this firmware. So a repeater bridge is uh, basically combining uh, an existing an existing um, Wi-Fi setup or a router setup uh, with another one for the purpose of uh, expanding the Wi-Fi signal okay. so I'll show you um, my setup for for this video I've used um, a Huawei uh, E58 uh, E589 as the main router uh, this is a, a Wi-Fi uh, connection using an LTE and uh, sometimes since uh, this this um, Wi-Fi uh, router is um, is um, a small device. It's limited to Wi-Fi signal, and uh, sometimes I have to um, I have to move down in order to get signal from one of my um, um, computer or uh, a tablet or smartphone, maybe just to get a signal. But um, using an old router, I can use it as a repeater bridge using DDWRT to expand the Wi-Fi signal okay so instead of um, disconnecting to the uh, main router which is the Huawei E589 I can use my old router which is a CDR King CW5354 uh, to expand the uh, the uh, uh, wireless range okay so so this is the um, CW5354 uh, router and so basically what I did was um, I connected this two device the E589 and this router wirelessly I did not use a, um, a uh, Ethernet cable to connect this uh, two device so basically this this was my setup my E589 router uh, its IP address which is uh, the source of the internet is 192.168.1.1 and uh, the secondary router um, in order to connect this you have to since by default all routers have a default of most of the router I mean have a default um, IP address of 192.168.1.1 so you have cha you have to change the the other router which in my case I changed the secondary router to 192.168.1.2 so this is a must um, both should have a different IP address in order for you to successfully connect it as a repeater bridge so um, I won't uh, get into details um, I've already set up uh, mine so I'll just uh, show you the basic concepts on on the settings that I did uh, on my setup okay so um, the first thing um, you have to uh, after flashing it with a DDWRT you can um, you can connect to this um, to the secondary router with a DDD with a DDWRT uh, flashed firmware um, through a wired connection first um, okay so in my case I have I've placed um, um, my my I, I've given uh, the IP address of uh, 192.168.1.2 to the secondary router. 
so I've already um, I've I've accessed it so this is the DDWRT on my secondary router so when you go to setup okay so in the setup under the one connection type the connection type should be disabled and on the STP it should be disabled uh, also and this is the important part the network the network setup um, the local IP address this is the IP address of the secondary router which is my case this uh, router so I've given it as 192.168.1.2 and the subnet mask um, 255.255.255.0 and the gateway the gateway you have to remember this is the IP address of the main router which is in my case the E589 so the local DNS should also be uh, the same with the gateway of the main router which is in my case this one uh, 2 so it's uh, 192.168.1.1 and you won't see on this part because I've already saved and applied the settings but uh, when you, on your first setup there's an option be down below which is the H DHCP server now take note that the DHCP server should be disabled because what will happen is once you've set up uh, once you have set it up as a repeater bridge the main router will give um, an IP address to the um, secondary router okay so by the way I'm using this firmware which is DDWRT version 24 um, standard okay so once you once you have configured it correctly you have to click save and apply settings now on the second part um, you go to security in the security you have to uh, uncheck all the options here under block uh, one request and check this uh, check boxes and you have to disable the SPI firewall and second and th I mean third you, go you have to go to the wireless and on wireless physical interface this is the um, this is the existing Wi-Fi signal which is this one my setup here on the E589 you have to select wireless mode as repeater bridge in my case my wireless network mode is mixed and the wireless network name or SSID this is the SS, SSID of my main router which is the E589 so you have to be careful on this one the SSID should match exactly the same with the existing um, SSID of your main router and on the network configuration it should be set to bridge and if you don't see this part yet the virtual interfaces you have to select add now this one this this would be the the additional um, uh, virtual interface which is the the secondary SSID for your secondary router so you can put um, anything here and for the wireless SS, SSID broadcast it should be enabled API isolation should be disabled and the network configuration should be bridged once you have set this up correctly you have to click save and choose apply settings now on the wireless security this is the fourth uh, part under wireless security on the physical interface part WL0 SSID this is for YouTube now this is the um, security settings of your main router which is in my case the E589 now you have to match this with the existing configurations on your main router otherwise you won't be able to uh, to bridge it or connect it um, uh, with it with each other so in my case its security mode is WPA2 personal but um, you have to um, you cannot copy this part you have to check your settings on your main router which is in my case the setting is like this and on the virtual interface um, SSID which is the additional SSID which is in my case I set it up as tech on side 
Now you can put anything but it will be advisable to just match its settings with your um, settings on your main router to avoid conflict and uh, to make it um, basically just consistent. Once you're done, you have to click save and click apply settings. Once you have configured this correctly from the setup, security and on the wireless, it should uh, be connected as a repeater bridge and um, you'll be able to, um, to test it by trying to um, try to access on your browser the IP address of your main router and the IP address of your secondary router so I think um, that's all about it if you need more guidance you can visit the DDWRT uh, wiki webpage in here you'll be able to see um, a um, a more guide in-depth guide on how to set up your your other router as a repeater bridge using DDWRT firmware so that's all about it um, that's about it it's me again Matt or tech on site if you like this uh, video don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button it helps me a lot and uh, see you again on my next video thank you bye bye